1924, when this law school began in the living room of a local attorney, no one could foresee that those informal classes would grow into a nationally recognized law school renowned for experiential learning here and abroad. Today, our national ranking has soared. 13,000 Pacific McGeorge alumni practice law in 52 countries and in all 50 states. And new graduates are poised for new opportunities locally and around the world. The location of Pacific McGeorge offers a wealth of opportunities for public service externships inside the legal hub of California's capital. Annually, there are more than 320 students receiving credit locally for work at supervised field placement sites. And there's a variety of campus legal clinics where students learn by doing. In the letters, it stated that I owe them $40,000. Here, working pro bono, they earn credit while learning the value of public service and practical skills, like client counseling and legal research. Would you be able to get that paperwork together for our next meeting? So Corey, I've looked at your research memo, it's really good. Each faculty supervised case helps students navigate the legal process for clients who otherwise would go without legal representation. Here I've had an opportunity to really see how the legal issues that I'm learning about in class are going to play out in the real world. In all, there's nine clinics covering services like immigration law, mediation, parole representation, elder law and health, crime victims, and bankruptcy. It's this approach to learning public service locally that Pacific McGeorge is expanding globally. In the interviews that I've had with employers, I can sit there and say, when I was at the Department of Real Estate, I did X, Y, and Z. When I was at the Federal Defender Clinic, I briefed these motions, I've done this. And employers look at that and they kind of perk up and they say, okay, we have somebody who's experienced. The idea of expanding our base of local externships to include opportunities abroad began in the mid-1970s when the school launched one of the first American summer law study abroad programs in Salzburg, Austria. Today, it's the largest of its kind. Founding faculty member U.S. Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy remains an active member of the Pacific McGeorge faculty. To me, that was wonderful because here you are, you're submersed within a country that speaks a different language, you're learning about cases from not only the United States but also the European Union. So now I'm getting a different perspective, not just our United States law, but also European laws and the way that they view public policy. All right, so you would accept that. At Pacific McGeorge, our faculty keeps looking for ways to push the global perspective beyond the classroom. Many have contributed to the 22 volume Global Issues series now used by more than 50 law schools in the U.S. And every day, they help students navigate the globe through shared experiential projects, as did Professors Dejani and Carter when a Pacific McGeorge student traveled with them to Rwanda to help research the criminal genocide proceedings. He would prepare background materials for the meetings that we had, meetings with the President of the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda in Arusha, Tanzania, uh, with government ministers, with officials involved in the gacha proceedings, and then later with survivors of the genocide. The similarity that struck me the most in my years of practice, and I've been practicing for four and a half years now, is that um, the things that I can hear my clients tell me about their situation, about the crimes that they're charged with, um, it's the same human experience that you hear in these tribunals that are taking place on the other side of the world. During a three-week trial before the International Court of Justice at The Hague, Professor Steve McCaffrey also relied on a student to assist with trial preparations. 
We didn't know it at the time, but the Uruguay delegation ended up including her as a member of Uruguay's delegation before the International Court of Justice. I think Maria came out of that experience having had a very rich, unique experience for an American law student. And I believe that this is something that we can offer from time to time that very few other law schools in the country will be in a position to offer. Either you get... For Professor Raquel Aldana, teaching an international legal perspective takes place both in and beyond the classroom. In Guatemala, students in her inter-American program work in public service externships with clients both in the U.S. and Latin America. We try to teach our students that practicing global law doesn't mean going to the U.N. It means, in, in fact, being conscious of, even in your small family-based case in the U.S., that you may be um, bound, that the U.S. might be bound by international agreements, that there may be ways in which international law can play a role in the determination of the case. In spring 2011, a Pacific McGeorge moot court team advanced to the International Criminal Court Competition in The Hague, where 26 teams argued case law to the international court. It's a huge deal. I mean, it's an ability to argue in front of international judges. It's ability to put McGeorge on the map, not just nationally, but internationally. And people are recognizing McGeorge as a top school. Every course, certificate, concentration, and experiential opportunity at Pacific McGeorge is helping to prepare students for a lifetime of public service, both here and abroad and is the driving force behind why Pacific McGeorge graduates are among the best prepared lawyers for the next generation of the legal profession.